Hey guys, and welcome back to another Code in Exiles video. Today we are building a Namidian PvE base in the Exiled Lands just south of the Den. This build is completely mod free, so without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I started off with of course the base plate. You can see the blueprint on screen now, and it is a fairly simple one. This build is targeted at mid to late or maybe even end game PvE gameplay, and though I have chosen to build in the desert, you can of course build this same design elsewhere. I do like this location quite a lot, however one of the downsides is that you are going to be a bit tight on space to fit essentials like a map room and a wheel of pain, so you may want to build a smaller separate map room outpost nearby. If you want to see me build one of those, do let me know in the comments below. I built the base plate following the blueprint using Namidian foundations. Next for the walls. I started off by placing down the first tile of walls, separating out the rooms, balconies and the entrance veranda, and starting to set the height of each room. Quite a few people requested this build as a standalone guide from my desert base locations video. I have made some rearrangements and adjustments to that build, as it just wasn't quite suited to PvE gameplay, as it was more built to indicate the amount of space available in this location. However, after the redesign, I do think this build is probably going to be a better option, space-wise anyway. Alongside building the walls and rooms, I added windows onto some of the wedge sections, and once I had separated the rooms, I built two of the rooms flooring one tile higher than the rest, and then built the walls up two tiles high on each section of the base. Once I'd finished the ground floor walls, I built a simple staircase and began to work on the first floor. This was something of a finicky process given that I wanted various rooms to be of various different heights, and I'll also be incorporating towers and bay windows into the build, however in retrospect it didn't actually end up being too much of a hassle. The actual traversable area of the first floor will be quite small in comparison to all of the space available on the ground floor, and that is simply because the first floor will be exclusively for bedrooms with all the workstations and storage being on the ground floor. After I'd placed the ceilings to establish the first floor, I then continued to place ceilings around the rest of the build to cap off the walls and make building the roof a little easier. Once the ceilings were down, I began on the walls of the first floor. As I said, this will be a much smaller area than the ground floor, with the first floor sitting just above the main hall, kitchen and staircase. I used the same Namidian walls to mark out the rooms and the transitional points on this floor, building the walls two tiles higher as standard apart from over the western room and over the staircase which will only be one tile high.
Once I'd finished the first floor, I began to work on the roofing. I started off by preparing the towers, and then I began to establish the roof mounts. I also added fences and awnings to the eastern side of the build, and then I began to place the actual roof pieces. As you've seen me do, and probably explain plenty of times, I'll be building each roof separately, rather than one massive roof structure that kind of just engulfs the entire build. This is to make sure that all of my work creating varying heights across the build isn't wasted by an awful roof design. This does mean you're going to require a bit more work to build the roofing itself, however I think it'll look much better in the end, rather than a large roof just sitting over the entire build. Fortunately, this is a fairly simple process of just simply following the flow of each roof. You'll notice in the furnishing phase also that I've made some small additions to the right side of the build, which we'll be taking a look at momentarily. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, I've lit the structure with watchers torches and aquilonium braziers, and you can see those additional structures on the right side. I've included a small fenced in yard to keep a medium wheel of pain, and I've added a little extra architecture at the bottom of the tallest tower, you will see why shortly. Entering the base, the main hall is sort of the core of the build, and it's where you can reach all different parts of the structure. On this floor you'll have a kitchen stocked with food and beverage producing equipment, and storage underneath said kitchen. You also have an extensive workshop containing all of the necessary crafting benches, with extra room made for the larger furnace designs beneath the towers, hence the extra architecture on the right side of the build. The idea with this build was to create something that feels very homely and comfortable, whilst also being able to produce a massive quantity of resources. This design would definitely be somewhat of a struggle to build on your own, unless you're playing on a boosted server, but if you're with a couple of clan mates, building such a structure should be quite manageable between two or three people. To capture that comfortable, homely feeling, the Midian really is the perfect set. The fusion of brickwork and wood feels comfortably rustic, and provides a great foundation to start to build up that feeling and atmosphere within the base.
Heading upstairs, this is where the bedrooms are kept. There is one large bedroom on the western side of the build for the clan leader, though this could be converted to a games room instead for when people feel like staying indoors for a bit. You could also use this for various other things, armour storage, personal storage, orb of Nagal, pretty much whatever you want. In the middle of the floor is another bedroom with three more beds, and this bedroom leads to a balcony that looks over the nearby area. Back outside of the bedroom, there is an eastern facing balcony looking over the desert. And there we have it, a Namidian PvE base in the Exile Lands south of the Den. Thanks for watching, hopefully this proves useful for some of the people that wanted to see a standalone of my Namidian build included in the Desert Base Locations video. I'm quite happy with this build, it's a little tight in some areas, but overall I'm quite pleased with how it came out. If you like the channel and would like to see more content in the future, there are links in the description to my Twitter, Twitch, Discord, NordVPN discount, Host Havoc affiliate link and my Patreon. Or, of course, you can simply just leave a like and subscribe, any of those are greatly appreciated. If you do choose to become a patron, you'll get sneak peeks of future videos, special roles in the Cuff Cult Discord, full-size blueprint downloads, your name at the end of every video, and finally, a brand new edition for the $5 and above tiers, custom-made Conan Exiles wallpapers in both 1080p and 4K resolutions, with patrons at the $20 tier being able to request custom designs. On that note, a massive thanks to our patrons Sadialot, Randar, Connor, Blue Ivy, Velma, Torn, Meryl224, Eagle Rose, and Volatile Shinobi. If you're new here, I upload every Wednesday and Sunday, so I hope to see you then. As always, take care, and I'll see you soon.